Pop Radio Vocal Magic, next on Music Surgery, with me, Dr. Bob. Dreamy, creamy pop vocals. Sometimes sound like a science project more than actual singing. This is the era where we as producers and mixers need to have this trick up our sleeve or we aren't going to sound competitive. Let's turn some vocals into pop gold in front of your eyes so you can use this trick too. Watch this. All right, you guys, I've heard this called the Billie Eilish trick. I've heard this called the Ariana Grande trick. What this is, is it's easy to get big, dreamy, creamy vocals when you're stacking, when you're doubling, tripling, quadrupling, or more. But sometimes a song calls for basically a single vocal performance with some answers and things like that. Um, or even if your song has a single great vocal performance but has stacks, here's a way to get that creamy, dreamy, chorusy pop radio spread thing just on your lead vocal. So here I have my song, and the first thing I'm going to do, I've soloed all of my lead vocal channels. I've split these out into different channels because he sings differently and enunciates differently in different parts of his voice. I'll get into that in a different video. But just know that here is my lead vocal. And what I'm going to do, I've soloed the lead vocal. I'm going to take off all the effects. Two sugars, no cream, just like you like it. Should have taken you to Malibu. Now you're walking on the beach, moonlighting. Should have taken you out on a Friday night. You and I'm going to take off all of my Master Bus stuff. Two sugars, no cream, just like you like it. Should have taken you to Malibu. Now you're walking on the beach more. Know the little things that were so big, but I just... Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to mix just this lead vocal down. Lead vocal only. Dry. And I'm going to insert this back into the project. So, um, I kept all the compression and the de-essing and the EQ on the channels, but I took everything off of my master bus, and I took all of the verb and the um, other processing that's on the lead vocal. So, what I'm going to end up getting from this is just a single performance of the lead vocal with compression and EQ. Okay, I've done that. And here is what rendered from that. Just like you like it, should have taken you to Malibu. Now you're walking on the beach. So I've got all that. Let me go turn my Master Bus stuff back on. So now, let me duplicate this channel, duplicate it again, and duplicate it again. And now I'm going to bounce every one of these so they are their own file. So now I have four separate dry lead vocals, the exact same channel. I'm going to call this three. I'm going to call this six. I'm going to call this nine. I'm going to call this 12. So now I'm not done any offline processing on the channel. This, this is the first time I'm going to show this. And I don't know how you do this on your DAW, but there are certainly ways, and you probably know anyway. So I'm going to go to this channel. I'm going to go to my plugins. 
and I'm going to go to modulation and I'm going to go to waves stereo doubler okay now this is very specific this trick to this plugin there are other ways to do this when I show you this plugin you'll see what I'm doing and you may have another plugin that does it this way but this plugin is fantastic at this so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the first side or the the left side and I'm gonna detune it by three and then the right side I'm going to tune it up by three. Now, also, so here's my left side and my right side. I'm also going to take, that's the dry signal. That's the direct signal that's coming from this. I don't want any of that direct single, signal. So I'm going to completely turn that off. Now, I'm going to apply this to this first wave. So, whoop, my bad. I've messed up. The left side is minus three below pitch. The right side is up three from pitch. I'm going to apply that. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to the next one. And I'm going to go back to my waves doubler again. I think after this one, it will remember what I'm doing. Okay, so now... I'm going to go minus 6 plus 6 to the next one here. I'm going to apply that. Now to the next one. I'm going to go minus 9 and plus 9. Apply that. Into the last one, 12, I'm going to go minus 12 on the left, plus 12 on the right. Now, what I've done with these files is I've created a lot of chorusing. But what you'll notice is every time on the left, I flattened the pitch and on the right I sharpened so on all of the left side it's going to be flat and all of the right side it's going to be sharp I don't want that because it's not going to be evenly chorused it's going to all sound flat on this side and sharp on this side so what I do is I take every other one and I go to processes and I hit stereo flip so now these are backwards from these so I have minus three plus three plus six minus six minus nine plus nine plus twelve minus twelve so, what I've created sounds like this. See, I did what I thought was priority, but you're right here standing right in front of me. If you let me, I'll give you the best of me. Yeah, I got this. So, you're not hearing any of the lead vocal right now. You're just hearing the plus minuses of these. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into a group. Group channel, stereo select these I'm going to toss these into group 9 go to group 9 and call this Eilish okay so now let me get back to our song turn her off or him off so here's what I have in the song without any of this Gushiness. Should have loved you like you're leaving. Should have done all the little things that we 
was so big, but I just couldn't see it. Should've loved you like you're leaving. Okay, super nice vocal, but now the cool thing about keeping these separated out is I still have control. This is chorusy, more chorusy, more chorusy, and super chorusy because this is the plus minus twelve. So. Let me go over here to these and just roll off some of this on the bottom. These are all my Eilish tracks. And let me sneak this in so you can hear the pop, dreamy, kind of chorusy thing that this trick does. It was what it was. Should have loved you like you're leaving. Should have done all the little things that were so big, but I just couldn't see it. Should have loved you like you're leaving. Looking back, I know why you ran. He's the man you really needed. So cool. So smooth. Now, obviously, I'm exaggerating it so we can hear it more. Let me even compress it. It was what it was. Should have loved you like you're leaving. Should have done. So big, but I just couldn't see it. Should have loved you like you're leaving. Looking back, I know why you ran here. So here's the lead vocal by itself. Should have loved you like you're leaving. Should have done all the little things that were so big. Now, with. Should've loved you like you're leaving. Should've done all the little things that were so big, but I just couldn't see it. Mm. Now, as you can tell, it doesn't take much of this at all to really bring that effect and that widening. You don't want it to sound too artificial, but it sounds so good when it's in there. Too much. If I had it again, I love you like you're leaving. Just like you're leaving. So, as you can tell, it just gives that beautiful smoothness, that pop chart thing that we hear on the radio and we go, man, I. It's not delay, it's not reverb, it's not EQ, it's what's making that sound, that sheen. Try this trick. It works every time. And like I said, I mean, the littlest amount. If I had it again, I love you like you're leaving. Sometimes it's nice to just feel the presence rather than hear it. Use your ear. All kinds of tracks are different. If it's a more dense track, you may have to turn it up more. This one's very bare, um, just kind of pop R&B. But this is what they're doing to give you that beautiful spread, that be beautiful chorus, radio, Spotify smash hit lead vocal sound mix this trick up at home for those dreamy layers of pop sugar and your productions will sound a lot closer to what you're hearing in your head keep in mind this trick can also be used for rock country and indie pop as well depending on how audible you make this trick in your mix hey you guys i want to get rich from youtube summer put the right script up there that is not the script that we Hey guys, please take time to subscribe and ring the bell below to notify you of new searches. Also take a look around in my store for some great cheap and free stuff. 
And one last thing, the Doctor's Lounge is open and in full swing. Come on, join us, get some amazing samples, stems, or one-on-one -on -one mix, production, or music advice. This is a really cool and super affordable thing, so check it out and see if it's for you. All the links are below in the description of this video. Thanks a lot. Thanks as always for watching. Give me some comment love and a thumbs up below and hit me at drbobmusicsurgery at gmail.com if you want to say hello or you want me to work on your music. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.